who are the best NFT artists on the Tezos blockchain that you should know about? And if you're just getting into NFTs, why should you care about Tezos artists in the first place? My name is Brian Collins. Welcome to the NFT Brief. So Ethereum NFTs are usually very expensive, particularly if they're from notable artists. If you want to pick up your first artwork that's an NFT, often you'll find Tezos NFTs are much cheaper, they're easier to get, and they still can look as good as anything you'll find on the Ethereum blockchain. In fact, many notable Ethereum artists got their start on Tezos. I'm going to profile some of the best artists that I found on the Tezos blockchain, the ones that caught my eye. Suffice to say, this is a little bit subjective, but I hope this gives you a flavor for what's available on marketplaces like fx.hash. So I hope you enjoy the content in this video. Please remember NFTs, including Tezos NFTs, are incredibly risky, and I'm not a financial advisor. This content is for informational purposes only, and you should always do your own research. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this overview. If you do, hit thumbs up. And if you want to get more videos like this or about NFTs, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Michael Zankan is perhaps the most notable artist on the Tezos blockchain. So he describes himself as a lifelong programmer and also a former oil painter. There's not a huge amount on his website. Basically, it'll give you an option to buy his prints. And I'll show you in a moment why you may want to buy one of these. And it'll take you to his social media channels, Instagram and Twitter. Your first port of call should actually be his Instagram feed. Because there you can enjoy his artwork for free without actually having to buy the NFT. So you can see that many of his creations represent scenes from nature and correspond to the various seasons. And you can also see the type of projects that he's working on as well. So he's big into environmental design. Now he's created a number of notable uh, blue chip generative art projects on the Tezos blockchain. The best place to find these is fxhash.xyz. So he's created a bug forest, kinder garden monuments and garden monoliths. Garden Monoliths is perhaps the biggest collection in terms of market cap, and it's the one that I was most interested in as well, although these were great too. So this is Garden Monoliths. There are 255 NFTs in this collection, and he created it in 2021, so it's an older NFT on the Tezos blockchain. Two years ago is a long time in NFT land. Now, like a lot of Michael Zankan's works, they're actually interactive, so I suggest you open them up in full screen. And you can see that it changes appearance and it changes look and feel once they open it up in full screen. His other two collections on FX Hash are pretty similar in that they're interactive. They're also well sought after, so you can visit any of them and you can see that it will change appearance once you click run. And the floor price for these is in excess of five figures in USD. A book for us is, a, I suppose, a little bit cheaper. It's just over $1,000 at the time of recording this video. Uh, and then Kinder garden monuments which is 309 nfts in this collection so this was created nearly a year ago and the floor price for these is a little over five thousand uh, dollars and again you can run any of these or you can open them up and you can enjoy them uh, for yourself so i guess if there's one artist that you're going to follow and you're looking for a kind of a snowfro or dimitri cherniak of the tezos blockchain then it's probably michael zankan next up is william maypen he describes himself as an artist who works with code He's from France and he was born in 1988 and his work has been exhibited at Sotheby's. So in other words, he's a, or an NFT artist on the Tezos blockchain, but he's also a real world or traditional artist. Now his biggest collection uh, to date that caught my eye is the Dragons series. So this is also on fx.hash. So there are 512 NFTs in this collection. It was created just over two years ago on December the 7th, 2021. And the Dragons NFTs basically represent dragon scales. So if you open up the marketplace, you can see what some of these look like. The floor price for these uh, is currently 7,800 Tezos, which is just over eight or $8,500. Uh, and if you zoom in on any of these, they look a little bit like scales uh, on a dragon. Um, I guess a little bit like Game of Thrones. You can also open them up on full screen as well if you want to enjoy his work. Now he's actually a good example of a Tezos artist who created on Tezos and then has also created artworks on Ethereum. His most well-known Ethereum collection was released on the Artblocks curated series and it's called Anti-Cyclone and I profiled some of the best Artblocks videos on another video on the channel so go and check that out but basically an anti-cyclone is a type of weather phenomenon and this is considered one of the blue chip Artblocks curated uh, NFTs and the floor price is somewhere between 7 and 8 ETH depending on, on when you're watching the video. 
So he's definitely a well sought after artist on both blockchains. Next up is Cyphered. So he's the chief developer and also the founder of FX.hash. And he describes what he calls generative artworks which represent or depict lifelike behaviors. So they tend to have their roots in science or in biology. So one example is this particular project uh, that he created. It's called RGB Elementary Cellular Automation. Now that's quite a mouthful, but it's basically uh, devised or based on a mathematical model which was created by Stephen Wolfram. And this mathematical model basically indicates how items in a grid can interact with each other to form unusual patterns. So in other words, he used the mathematical model to create these generative artworks, which look a little bit like pixel art or pixel NFTs that you'll find on the Ethereum blockchain. So the project currently has a floor price of 3,500 Tezos, so just over $4,000. So again, it is one of the more expensive generative artworks on fx.hash. Cyphered has also created a few other notable collections, uh, including iframes and Etriel Microcosm. If you want to learn more about his work or what he's up to, uh, you can just visit his the Cyphered website, or you can also follow him on Twitter. And suffice to say, because he's built FX Hash, he is incredibly engaged in the or within the Tezos ecosystem and on Twitter. Next up is Mark Nall. He describes himself as a web and game developer, and he's also a generative artist. He's from the Netherlands. Now, when I was reading up on Mark, I was Surprised to discover that he's been creating or experimenting with generative art since 2008. So that's way before the Tezos blockchain or generative art NFTs were a thing. Now, one of his most notable collections is Small Skull. So this is basically a picture for profile uh, collection. There are a thousand NFTs in this particular collection, and it's a combination of pixel art and also vector based art. So you can use this as your profile on social media or for your Web3.0 identity. So I guess it's a little bit like the CryptoPunks, although with a floor price of 499 Tezos, which is about six or $700, it'll cost you far less. Now these colorful NFTs, the colorful NFTs in this collection, reminded me a little bit of artifacts or artifacts from a 1990s video game. And that may be in part because of the constraints of pixel and vector based art, which exists entirely on the blockchain. So as you can see, there are 2,000 NFTs uh, in the collection. Royalties are currently at 10%. As far as Tezos artists go, Mark Nall is pretty prolific. So you can also find his work on Object. And he's also created a number of companion projects related to Small Skull. So there's a fan card which you can buy if you want to support the project. There are flags which are related to uh, Small Skull. Uh, and there's also a 3D version of Small Skull as well. And suffice to say, uh, these are afford much more affordable if you don't want to spend several hundred dollars. You can pick one of these up for less than $100. And again, you could use this as your picture for profile. And it could be a good way for you to get some generative art without having to spend much money on it. I also liked Tezos NFTs, which were created by Marcello Soria Rodriguez. So Marcello is a Spanish artist and he experiments with music, digital and photo based generative art on the Tezos blockchain. He works full time in the space. And as you can see, he's followed by a number of notable collectors on the Ethereum blockchain, including Vincent van Doe and also Zeneca. Well, usually for an NFT artist, he has a pretty well built out website where you can read all about his thinkings, read blog posts from him all about artwork, his opinions uh, and so on. Now, some of this is in Spanish, so you might need to translate it. Also, if you visit fx.hash, you can see some of Marcello's notable projects. One that stood out to me is All That Remains. This was created on January the 11th, 2023, so not too long ago. And it's an interactive NFT, uh, so I can open this up in full screen. And there are commands here that you can use. So it can use W to switch between the distorted world and the world focused on the, the person. And I can also save the current image and use this command to obtain a different view. So I've gone ahead and opened it up in full screen. And you can see if I press W, uh, it changes appearance. And then I can also save whatever version I've created to my computer uh, as well. And I'm also using now L to manipulate the image too. So definitely an intriguing uh, NFT. Um, by Marcello. Um, it's going to cost you uh, approximately 900 Tezos to pick one of these up, so a little over $1,000. Now, he's also released a project on Artblox as part of the curated series. So, uh, this particular project basically uh, describes how our lives are scattered across several different time scales. And it reflects on this concept and also plays tributes to the work of other NFT artists uh, and painters. Um, another project uh, to check out. And also another good example of how some Tezos artists start on Tezos before moving on to the Ethereum blockchain. 
Next up is Rich Pohl, who is a generative artist from New Zealand. Now, what I like about Rich and some other artists on Tezos is that you can buy prints of their work to go alongside their NFT. After all, some of these would look good hung on my office and not just looking at them on my wallet or on a computer screen. Perhaps his most notable collection is called Asikia. So that's a Spanish adaption of an Arabic word, which means water carrier. The project itself is actually a collaboration uh, between Rick and Rich, somebody he's collaborated with before. And basically it depicts canals that you'll find in Spain and also in Northern Mexico, which are essential for sustaining fields and for keeping them hydrated and full of water, particularly in arid regions. So it's an animated Tezos NFT, so you can manip manipulate any of the NFTs in this collection with basic keyboard commands. So I've opened up one here and I'm just gonna reload it or refresh it so you can see what it looks like. And this is, depicts or represents water throwing or flowing through one of these uh, irrigated canals. So here's another example here. And of course I can save these to my computer as well using the keyboard shortcuts that I showed you a few moments ago. Uh, Reminded me a little bit of some of the various art blocks curated projects that have come across too. They trade hands for a little over $2,000 at the time of recording. Um, you can also pick up some of his other projects. So if I click on Rich Paul, uh, you can see he's created a number of different types of projects. So here's another one that stood out, Twiggle. So I guess this might be inspired by Chromie Squiggle, which is an NFT that I, uh, oh, it is inspired by Chromie Squiggle. Oh, there you go. Uh, so I profile Chromie Squiggle elsewhere on the NFT brief. So go and check out that video. Um, these are quite affordable. So there are 250 NFTs in this collection. 92 Tezos is the floor price. So a little over $100. So again, a good example of how you can get artwork from your favorite Tezos artist that could cost quite a bit or not much at all. Ana Lucia is another Tezos artist that I came across and I really liked her work when I saw it. So she's based in Cairo and she's created a number of notable collections on the Tezos blockchain. So she's created Action System, Perpetual Oscillations, and Art for Walls in Public Spaces. Great title. This is actually the one that appealed to me the most. So when I clicked on this, you can see that it's moving inanimate drawings which you generated with code. And again, there are basic keyboard commands that I can use to manipulate these. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up one of these, click Run, and you can see here that it changes appearance and that I can save these to my computer uh, as well. So if I go to the marketplace, you can see what they're currently trading for. 144 NFTs in this collection. Floor price is a little over, or a little under 2,000 Tezos. So it's probably quite an expensive Tezos NFT to pick up, but you can still go ahead and admire it uh, if you want. Um, she's also created some other NFT projects, uh, which might be worth checking out. So uh, Perpetual Oscillations. If I open this up in the marketplace, you can see the floor price is a much more affordable, 380 Tezos, which will be approximately $500. I do like Tezos NFTs because they are still much more affordable than Ethereum NFTs. And to be honest, if you're getting into the space for the first time, you can probably pick one of these up without having to take on significant risk or to worry too much about technical headaches. Now, if you want to buy a Tezos NFT, you will need to set up your Tezos wallet and also to buy some Tezos token. So I have another video on the channel where I profile exactly how to do that. And I do recommend that you use a hardware wallet to keep your Tezos artwork NFTs safe too. So I hope you enjoyed the content in this video, all about some of the best artists that I've come across on the Tezos blockchain. If you do, hit thumbs up, and if you feel like there's a glaring omission, let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to get more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the NFT Brief.